So in this video, I want to show you how I actually created um, my own storyboard for uh, chapter one and the process I took. So uh, projects, early main comic, to get the storyboard that, you could just go to storyboardthat.com or you can click uh, the link provided um, here for the current day. So click here to sign on to storyboard that. All right, you're going to use your SLUS, so you'll click log in and use uh, Google and enter your SLUSD email and password. When you get onto the page, to start the assignment, you will click the early man comic. All right, so you'll click that and it will take you to your uh, storyboard. I'm gonna create a new one, um, but that's what you will do. You'll click the early man comic. All right, um, let's see. So your cell will look like your cells will look like this with a cell and a description. And you're gonna to need to have this storyboard planner finished so that you know exactly how you wanna approach this, right? So I have this all this information to help me um, plan. So one thing, you could, one thing you could do right away is you could just copy and paste all your descriptions. So you can copy and paste your description here into this box. I want to make sure it fits, so you might need to modify the size. Let's see. There you go. Okay, and so that's a simple thing you could do right away just to get started. Is paste these into the description boxes. They fit, and you can always alter the size if you need to. Um, but I think they, they fit pretty well at 16, so I'll leave it like that. All right, so um, on my storyboard, the first thing that I said was um, my setting. So I want to create my setting first. So it says an old looking village in the desert with dusty looking buildings. So um, I'm going to try to find something that will fit that. Um, Situation. So let's see if I look at outdoor, dusty looking. Let's see. So maybe like this one here. Take it, move it in there. Here's my setting. Okay, for the first page. What else did I say for that? So there will be two archaeologists in this cell. They'll have special tools. They will look like your classic archaeologist. So I'm going to go back to my characters and I'm going to find some stuff that will fit. Fit that. So I'm gonna look at jobs. See if I can find anyone that would look like an archaeologist. So let's see. So I'd say like she kind of looks like an archaeologist to me. So I'm gonna select her. I know she's holding a special tool, so that doesn't really fit. How about her? She looks like an archaeologist. And you know I could you know, modify her hair and everything how I want to. So maybe I give her black hair. This, her outfit's fine, I don't really care. Okay, I said there'd be two. So and I also add this guy right here. He kind of has a similar type of outfit. Um, let's see what I want him to look like. Give him an outfit like that, there you go. All right, so there's my characters. Um, and I'll be able to modify their poses here in a second. What did I say? What else did I say here? I said they'd have tools. So um, let's see if I can find any kind of tools. You can always search um, maybe digging tools for, for this topic. Let's see what I get. In there, if you click more, you get some more options. There you go, that's getting closer. Here's a shovel. Maybe I take a shovel and I put it down here and I could rotate it resize it so it's on the ground near them maybe oops get the shovel resize it put it on the ground maybe some kind of pick pickaxe I don't know if there'd be anything like that there you go something like this make it smaller just put them on the ground near them show that you know they're they're working on that put it over here Okay, and you can move move stuff around, um, so you're customizing it how how you need to. But 
that's entirely up to you. Maybe something like that. All right, what else did I say here? Um, the archaeologists are digging up an old looking site. One will be digging on the ground. So I got to put one up. So I got to modify her position. So I'm going to go actually, because I already created this. I want to see what what my uh, storyboard actually looks like that I created for this. I'm just showing you how to do this step by step, but it'd be nice if I could get some ideas. So let's see how I did this. All right. So I actually had her kneeling like that. She's holding a scroll and he's looking at her like, wow, you discovered a scroll. So I'm going to show you how I would have done that. Her outfit's a little bit different, but I want to edit her pose, make sure she's kneeling on the ground like she just found it, looking that way. Her, is that her right arm or left arm? We'll be up presenting it. Wow, I found it. And she's excited. Yeah. Okay. So there's her. She's finding it. Uh, she's holding a scroll. So I got to find, maybe I'll search scroll here and see if anything pops up. This is the one I had her holding. Obviously need to resize it because it's not as big as her. There you go. She's holding it, presenting it to him. I want him looking at her. So I'm going to move him like this. I want him to be excited. So maybe I'll have him like, Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. He's super happy. Maybe he's looking down a little bit towards her like that. Perfect. Okay. And he, I had him saying, um, what did I have him saying? You discovered a scroll. Um, so I'm going to add a textable like this and have him saying discovered a scroll. Okay. So all this is, I'm getting all this from my, my plan, right? Um, that I already have created in that doc, that Google doc. So you don't need to create all this on the spot because you already planned for it all, right? I'm just kind of trying to fit my description here, all this description here in, in my picture. Okay. Um, I did add, you can see here, I added these cool looking ruins here.